Hi friends, uh, welcome to TechLeg video tutorials. This session I am going to explain about uh, Galaxy Schema. It's an extension of your star schema and uh, there are different names uh, people will call uh, that is a Galaxy Schema or Hybrid Schema or Fact Constellation. So this constellation keyword uh, is came from again from Galaxy because uh, uh, those related interconnected whatever you, have, you can find the stars or uh, whatever you can find the different stars in, in galaxy there is interconnected between those stars this keyword came from those that is a constellation so you can call galaxy schema or fact constellation or hybrid schema so this is the main extension from your star schema because star schema will have one fact table uh, in this galaxy will have multiple fact tables say uh, there if you have a requirement uh, for multiple facts and designing multiple like it's like a multiple stars actually multiple stars that's why we will call as galaxy schema or fact constellation and why we will call a fact constellation means there is an interconnect between uh, multiple stars that is called common dimension tables those dimensions we will be calling as conform dimension conform dimension means as you know that uh, any dimension which is uh, using across all the data marks those dimensions will be calling as conform dimensions that those dimensions will be using in this uh, galaxy schema that's why we will be calling as fact constellation. So here you can see this diagram. I have a multiple facts here, and uh, each fact again surrounded with the dimension tables. Each fact surrounded with the multiple dimension tables. If you look at this one star, and if you look at this another star, there are multiple stars. If you have a requirement, you can go for using galaxy schema. So galaxy schema requirement is minimum two fact tables. So maximum there is no limit, but the minimum is two fact tables. It's like a two star schemas. So if you have a uh, five fact tables, so you can design like a combination of five star schemas, but those are inter interconnected, those are interconnected, that's what we will call as fact constellation. That we will call as fact constellation. So in galaxy, there are multiple stars, right? So those uh, stars will be interconnected, that we will call as constellation, fact constellation. So same thing uh, you can see uh, we have a, uh, two facts and you can see the dimension these three dimensions are uh, sharing those two facts this dimension will be calling as conform dimension this dimension will be calling as conform dimensions so uh, when you're talking about hybrid schema or the galaxy schema the major advantage is conform dimensions and uh, reducing the your uh, query or maybe uh, big tables because those tables whatever you are using the tables you can uh, share across all your data marks and it will Im improve the query performance because the same table you will be creating only one data mart and those uh, tables will be using across all your data marks okay so you can reduce your space or like you, you can save your space storage space as well as same table can be used across all your data marks so that is a performance related and as well as implementation part a designing part you have to consider this confirmed dimensions in a hybrid schema okay so if you look at this diagram i have a two uh, fact tables and two fact tables will be using this uh, common dimension tables that we will be called as conform dimensions so this is the common in uh, hybrid schema or maybe you can say fact constellation or galaxy schema so if you have a requirement to multiple stars like multiple fact tables so you can go for implementing this galaxy schema okay uh, but only thing is uh, you need a more uh, technical uh, at least uh, one technical high uh, resource is required because of uh, identification of your all uh, stars multiple stars and integrating all stars in your whatever you are using the reporting layer designing your reporting layer okay so only that is a critical thing in a hybrid schema so remaining thing is uh, normal whatever you are designing the stars mass no the same common thing only the integration part uh, multiple stars you are interconnected right so those Thing you need to consider about the data integrity and uh, data uh, whatever you are using a uh, data isolation so those things you need to consider about that a part of uh, a end user point of view because if something goes wrong it will impact the your uh, data quality right so that thing you need to consider about a hybrid schema so while uh, designing this as well as a reporting level as well as you can consider this because of uh, joints consideration and whatever you are using this confirm dimensions those uh, public schemas uh, public uh, synonyms whatever you are using those 
So, this is the common thing related to technically. This is the overview on Galaxy Schema. It's an extension of your Star Schema. So, thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates from my channel. Thank you very much.